That'll work just fine. He's got a plug in so bring it close to him. I mean, look at it. Don't let Kyle be mean to you, okay? Oh, boy. Okay. Now, the 3x3 three three pine that our customer needs, we're not going to have that here in our yard. We're going to have to cut it custom. Guys, yeah, is it good enough? What do you think? I don't know. Hey guys, so if you're watching this for the first time, this is the second part of our 3x3 three three white pine resaw series. So you can click this video card and go back and watch the first video, then come back to this video afterwards. Or don't, it doesn't matter. We still love you either way. saw these pieces. to succeed Got and get quality, old, some pretty good lumber out of this too. A bunch of old slabs. Although we got a lot that were thrown away there too, Kyle. But at least we're getting something out of it. Yeah. Probably need to do this more often, cut up some of the old junk we have around here. Yeah, get some quality lumber out of it, throw some mortars. Throw a band around it. Yep, he'll be pleased with this, I think. That'll work just fine. I like the uh, not old steam. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, not old steam for sure. It's old strum. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm here with Joel Steen. Joel. <laughs> <laughs> not Joel Olstein. Hey, everybody, I'm here with Joel Olstrom. He is uh, with at that guy Woodco on Instagram. Now he's the guy that ordered those three by threes from us, and we um, decided to go a different route. We needed it to be kind of dry, so we figured we took those slabs. You've seen it in the intro of the video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. My first question is, what are you going to use these three by threes for, and why do they need to be dry? They're gonna be purlins for a timber frame porch. The trusses are six foot on center. So these are gonna span that six foot. That's why they have to be thick. And the rest of the timber is dry. So I wanted it somewhat dry so it would take finish the same way that the other stuff does. Okay. Because we're putting a semi-transparent stain on all of the timber. This whole project is everything sanded before it's stained. So I'll run it through the planer and then I'll run the belt sander over it down to 100 grit and then it'll be ready for stain. What color are you gonna stain it? It's a natural cedar. So it's kind of a little bit reddish, but it's semi-transparent. So it shows the grain and the knots through the stain. It's not a solid covering stain. As you know, some of them had dry rot. And some of them were sketchy. But what we did was we cut extra and threw them in for free just in case. Some of them don't work out, you can throw them. If they do work, you can cut them and use them. If not, here at Kane j we want to make sure you get the product for the project and get it done right. So You guys always take care of me, so I'm not worried about it. And then Kendall tells me he reserves beams like this for you also. What kind of uh, buildings do you build with those types of things? Well, I did an... A, a 20 by 24 addition this year. I'm going to be 
get you some of the footage from that to put on your channel too. That was all white pine timbers. That's all hand plane surfaces. Right now I'm doing this porch. It's 12 by 14, pretty simple, but it's all dry white pine timber for the structure of the porch. He sends me pictures, a video of the completed project using our purlings. I'll put it on our Facebook page, Instagram, in a post on YouTube so you guys can see the results of these three by threes. I hope it works out for you, Joe. Thanks, man. Thanks. Hey, click this link if you want to see more of our videos.